Hello and welcome to my short video review of the beta version, nearly the final release version, of Pixel Night for Android. This is written by a friend of mine and he's very kindly given me an early release version of it to uh, show you. So I wanted to show it off because I love little platform games like this. Um, it reminds me very much of Castlevania and also the old Mario games in terms of pixel perfect jumping. Uh, so it is one of these games that's very unforgiving and you'll see what I mean. Um, it's also very helpful as well, there's hints and tips all over the game showing you what to do, how to play the game and the game progresses you quite slowly in terms of uh, picking up new features and basically learning how to play it. Basic concept of the game, get through each level, collect the coins, kill the monsters, figure out where the key is to get out the level. Uh, you find a key in the tre treasure chest which opens the gate and then you just have to get back to the gate alive without falling on spikes or hitting a, a baddie and progress on to the next level. I've played the game for a couple of hours now, um, I've completed most of it already, uh, the first 12 levels at least. I haven't been given all the levels to play because I'm still, there, still making them. But you can see it has a very professional look to it, very polished finish. Uh, it reminds me a lot of the kind of 16-bit era of games from the old SNES and Mega Drive games. Although it's very frustrating, um, it also reminds me of a g game on Steam called VVVVV, uh, which was a another platform game with a pixel-type graphics, which again was very very unforgiving. So you get a star system for each level, to, uh, grading you how well you've done on that level. I think it's based on time, whether you kill the enemies and whether you collect all the coins. And there's different features on each level. So some levels have moving platforms, some will have lifts. And there are boss levels as well, so you can see me here trying to take on one of the bosses. I think there's planned to be three bosses in the final game. Uh, I'd love to show you me killing the boss, but I've not spent long enough to actually figure out the best way to kill him. Obviously there is a pattern with any bosses, there's always patterns to kill them. Uh, this one I'm finding very tough though, so I'll come back later tonight and have a go on this to try and beat him. But you can see obviously I'm guessing when I kill the boss, that grey wall will lift up, I can then open the chest, get the key and escape the level, uh, but I'm yet to find out how to do that. Just showing you a few other levels in the game a bit later on, if we skip on a bit you'll see uh, this level is basically spike heaven, so lots of spikes to fall onto, lots of lifts taking you down into god knows where, so you've got to look out for um, bats, spiders, any other things going around, birds flying around. Lots of lifts over spikes, lots of platforms over spikes. I think I make a mistake about now. Very badly timed jump. There's a lot of planning ahead on a couple of these levels. But anyway, yeah, highly recommended. Give it a go.